All right, so you already know all this. Michelle was Big Dick Mike? But we're going to give the people some evidence, okay? Because <laughs> not everybody knows it. Okay. Play that video of her on Ellen with her dick flopping like oh, she Oh, that's fucking... coming. All right. How did you know that she was a man? Because her hands were as big as Andre the Giant, and she had an Adam's apple as big as her balls. So you have no proof. Is Michelle Obama a dude? <laughs> Listen, I, you know, we, I, I, we're not, I'm not allowed to talk about these things because, right, you get called a conspiracy theorist by the mainstream media. But I will say, have you ever seen a picture of her pregnant? Just kidding. Uh, that's it. I haven't, but, you know, I, I'm sure she's, yeah. I'm sure she's lovely. I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I am. I know I am that I am. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. How's it going? You look like you're, uh, you've are you met up with Doc Brown. You're going to go head into the future or something like that. I am feeling <laughs> so much so better. Ridiculous. You'd expect there to be like something else, like a lighter lens or something. But no, it's just your eyes. Just your eyeballs. I feel so much better. Let me first off by saying that. Secondly, let's say happy birthday, America. This, that was this, this is our 4th of July episode, right? Uh, it comes out after that, but yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, that being said, here's my, my 4th of July happy birthday, America shades. My happy birthday, America uh, shirt here. You see that? Nice. World War II. <laughs> this is not a fucking NBA <laughs> fucking back-to-back championship. Well, th- sure. that, that's what it's it's supposed to be the USA Dream Team. What's you know? You got a col- you, know, you went to college? You did go to college? Oh, fuck no! I, yeah, I did go to college. Is that that's a, why I'm allowed to say? Is that, that a Kanye just, shirt? Oh no! no. Oh, I thought college it was a con- is scam, bro. College is a scam. Don't go to college. Don't spend your money on college. I thought that was it's a fucking stupid college dropout Kanye West shirt. No, no, no. It's college is a scam because college is a scam. Okay. Okay. Right? You know, wars were funded by the same people. Both sides were funded by the same people. Did you know? They pick who wins and... (sighs) All (laughs) righty. So let's get on into it. Oh. Oh, What? Um. Oh, ho, ho, what? I uh, I gotta tell you something. You found out you were gay? No, something else. Oh what? I went in, I went into uh, you know I wasn't feeling too great, so I wasn't eating a lot. I, I mean, I was, who am I kidding? I wasn't eating as much as I normally do. It was still a <laughs> lot. Uh, but when I started feeling better, I went and uh, got some pizza, and I hadn't had pizza in a while, man. And when I went in there, the pizza place, the aromas hit me. My tummy pussy got so wet. It, oh. That was a really gross sounding statement. Your tummy pussy got, what the fuck? Is that the end of the story? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying things out, man. Shoot or shoot. It's either that or my, my stomach. Guys. My- Hashtag tummy pussy. There you go. <laughs> Either that or my, my, my stomach boner got real hard. <laughs> oh, my tummy pussy was soaking when I went in there, bro. Oh, my God. Anyways, I, I ordered way too much food, and I came home, and I ate it all. All of it. Um, it's not shocking. <laughs> Hashtag tummy pussy's all wet. <clears throat> Anyways, go on. What were we talking about? Let's just start the episode. <laughs> You ready for the first video? Yeah. You remember Joan Rivers? Yeah, yeah. What happened to her face, bro? Tons and tons of plastic surgery. All right, here you go. And do you think that the country will see the first, the United (laughs) States will see the first gay president or the first woman president? We already have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. Got it. You know, Michelle. 
is a trans. Uh, I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. We all know. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. It's okay. What do you think about that? Uh, I think First. that I think it was a person wearing a mask. I don't think that was really her. What do you think she's? It looks like she's wearing a mask. Yes, but what do you think about what she said? <laughs> Is that supposed to be some sort of news? That's not breaking news. Everybody knew that. Everybody, bro. Every, everybody's been on that, bro. What do you mean? Not everybody. Well, yeah, some people are slower to fucking figure out how to eat, dog. Like, not, you know what I mean? Not everybody's quick on the uptick around here. All right, so of, you already know all this. Michelle was big dick Mike. Bro, we talked about this fucking 18 episodes ago. Big dick. But we're going to give the people some evidence, okay? Because not everybody knows it. Okay. Play that video of her on Ellen with her dick flopping. Like oh, she that's fucking... coming. All right. Uh, so here's, here's more with uh, Joan Rivers. You ready? Yeah, love Joan. She might... She... But a little more than a month after she said those things, she suddenly passed away. The cause of death was stated as an accident undergoing a small routine procedure on her throat at a clinic in Manhattan. Something went wrong during the procedure and Joan stopped breathing. Her assistant, and she said, I don't know what, she's crying. And she said, I don't know what to tell you, her mother stopped breathing. However, during the process, Melissa received a letter from former President Obama to show his support. Melissa, who was Joan's only child, was surprised to receive the special letter. Melissa announced the letter when she appeared on the TV show called That means fashion police must see television around the globe. So, for the next 90 minutes, we're going to do what my mom loved to do most. Fashion police celebrating Joan E. She said, I received a letter from the White House, from President Obama, someone who was often a target of her jokes, as well as Mrs. Obama. I received a handwritten note that said, not only did she make us laugh, she made us think. So, she received a letter from Obama shortly after her mom died, and the, her mom used to make fun of the Obamas a ton. And actually, there's a video of... Uh, Fuck, I wish I had it. Uh, Joan Rivers going off about she went through like five different stages of security and then uh, Michael, Big Dick Mike, wouldn't let her in. And she called her a moron. Yeah. Damn, bro. So I, I wanted to show this in particular because when people get all mad, like, so what if she's transgender? Who cares? Um, they're fucking killing people to keep it a secret. Hmm. I've never thought about it like that. Yeah. It's all one fucking giant agenda to make people think that they can change their genders when they absolutely can't. I actually got an argument like a week week or two ago and uh Naked and Afraid was on and somebody came uh somebody came on screen that was like a dude but wanted to be a chick or some shit. And I what? fucking turned, I turned the channel. We're at my Which, dad's. I just turned the channel. And they're like, and UFC was on. And I literally just hit the guide button. I wasn't going to play UFC. I just wanted to turn the fucking channel. And um, they're like, UFC has transgenders. Why are you going to keep that? I'm like, I, I'm just trying to turn the fucking channel because I don't want to fucking promote that indoctrination bullshit. I don't think UFC um, has transgenders, though. Um, One of the fighting does. I don't know. I don't want to really watch any of that anymore. Yeah, it's um, not UFC, though. I don't think Dana yeah. White would allow that. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, but they uh, so like, why does it matter what gets someone hard? I'm like, that doesn't have anything to fucking do with it. Why you does know? it matter? Why does it matter? I never said it did matter. Oh. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, both Sasha and Mila are both adopted. Michelle Obama cannot bear children as a biological male. The chairman of the Obama Foundation just happens to look like your oldest daughter. And his wife, who is a doctor, who is credited with delivering your babies, just happens to look like your youngest daughter. The Obamas aren't blind, and, 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 and their family and friends, and America's not blind. Somebody has to explain this. It's worthy of an explanation. Or you should have got rid of these people. And say, literally, like, distance yourself from them. You got rid of Reverend Wright. You distanced yourself from him. 
don't make this man the head of the Obama Foundation if he looks just like your oldest daughter. And, and yeah. just the whole story, I mean, the woman delivers the baby. How, how I mean, this woman delivers the baby and looks just like the youngest baby. Somebody, please, God, help me understand this. Help me. But but if if Michael, if if Michelle, is really a dude, that would make Obama gay, right? But is Obama gay? Springs, Colorado, to Chicago, November second, nineteen ninety nine. Arriving in O'Hare early in the morning of November third. I went to the Chicago area to attend the graduation of my godson, my best friend's son, from basic training from the Great Lakes Navy Training Facility. I made reservations at the Comfort Inn and Suites in Gurney, Illinois, based solely on the location to the training center. On November 5th, 1999, I hired the services of Five Star Limousine. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse. I had hired them both for November 5th and November 6th of 1999. On November 6, 1999, I asked the limo driver, whose name I now reveal for the first time, Jagir Paramit Mutani, if he knew anyone who would like to socialize and show me Chicago. Mr. Mutani understood that I was looking for someone who knew Chicago and would enjoy socializing. Mr. Mutani said he knew someone who was a friend of his. On November 6, 1999, after picking me up at the hotel in Gurney, and this is significant, Mr. Mutani used his cell phone to make a call. That call was made to then Illinois State Senator Barack Obama to set up an introduction between myself and Senator Obama. Upon arriving at the bar and exiting the limo, Senator Obama was standing next to Mr. Mutani, and I was introduced to Senator Obama by name. Later that evening in a bar, which I believe was called Alibis, and I state believe because I have failed so far to get Citigroup to provide the credit card receipts that has the actual name. <coughs> I mentioned I could use a line or two to wake up. Senator Obama asked me if I was referring to Coke, and I stated I was. After stating I was, Obama stated he could purchase cocaine for me and then made a telephone call. This too was significant from a cell phone to a presently unknown individual during which Senator Obama arranged the cocaine purchase. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location where Senator Obama exited the limousine with $250, which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine, after which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. The following day, November 7th, 1999, Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room, unannounced, uninvited, where we again ingested cocaine, and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama. Significantly, both the driver's telephone call to Senator Obama and his call to the drug dealer should appear on the driver's and Senator Obama's cell phone billing statements. In the fall of 2007, September 2007, I contacted the presidential campaign of Barack Obama to request solely that Senator Obama publicly correct his stated drug use record to, collect, <coughs> excuse me, to reflect his use of crack cocaine with me in November of 19... So, Obama is a crackhead. And he also likes to get his pipe smoked <laughs> by a guy. But the whole reason why this dude is outing him is because when Obama was running, he was talking about how he never did drugs and shit. And this right. dude's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's a little weird. Not going to lie. It's a little weird. What's weird? Um, like, I don't know. It's just odd. Well, I, what? Uh, who who was he at the time that the driver supposedly introduced him to a state senator? senator? He was a oh, senator was as well. Oh yeah. no, th no, that guy is just some rich dude that was in town. Oh, he was a rich guy in town. Yeah, and he asked the limo driver if he knew anybody that wanted a party. Basically, the limo driver's yeah. like, "Yeah, my gay friend Obama." I know some guy who let you suck his dick. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, here's a little bit more okay. evidence that you know uh, Obama's a a fagola. President of the United States, you call your man, call MTV. We're going to give you a platform. We're going to give you a way to speak because cause, cause you on to something, kid. Well. You on to something. You making sense to me. You got me. I, I am franchised. <laughs> I'm not disenfranchised no more. And I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dang for, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. 
you hear so, hold on hold on you hear a little code talk there you've heard of what? code talk before right code like, talk yeah, yeah like when uh uh when uh when a white guy gets around a, a black guy they ought to, what's up man instead of hey oh, guys yeah. how's it? instead of hey guys how's it doing obama has never sounded more uh street than Urban. he did in that yeah <laughs> street <laughs> then <it>, you <laughs> like he even kind of like tries tries to put up one of his words there and oh, we all know Obama doesn't talk like that. Yeah. He was trying to code talk in front of in front of Puffy. That's funny. And we all know what Puffy's into. Clapping them cheeks, boy. Oh, don't say that about a guy. <laughs> Clapping them cheeks. <laughs> Gross. Here's a tweet from Obama's brother. This isn't a parody account. This is his actual brother. Can you zoom it in for me? I can't see shit. It says, me and fake ass a snake, President Barack Obama, when he was a nobody. Before he became a snob. And then somebody asked, um, Malik, is he gay? And uh, he responded, a f- <laughs> Yeah. Damn. <laughs> That's his brother. Like, hey, hey. Here's another one from Malik Obama. I, I, Malik Obama, will campaign against Michelle Obama when she runs for president. And then he corrected himself and said he slash she. One more. He do. He's got so many tweets like this too. Someone asked him, "Does Michelle Obama have a dick?" Uh, Because Malik said, never stop asking questions. And then someone said, does Michelle Obama have a dick? And he said, yes. (laughs) There's a lot more. That's 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 Barack's brother? Yeah, it's Barack Obama's half-brother from Kenya. Yeah, bro. So that's just, that's his uh, family saying it. So this isn't like speculation from other people. You know what I mean? Cold blood of shit, bro. That's some cold blood of shit, bro. Your brother fucking putting your whole business out there. Well, he knows that Barack Obama's a fucking snake, so he was calling him out for the American mm. public. Hey, he's trying to he's he's trying to he's just trying to say what it, what it is, bro. You code you're code talking now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. You get it? Yeah, I'm with you. But you already knew all this that he's Yeah, I knew, bro, I knew you know, I knew. I know. I you knew I knew. knew. I think deep down everybody knows. Uh the owner of where I work, he actually came to me today. That's why that's why I thought to do this episode cuz he goes uh, cuz I said he brought up the Biden Trump debate and he thinks that Biden's going to get 25th amendment and like he thinks today or tomorrow Biden's going to come up with like a health problem and then have to drop out. And then yeah. he asked me what I thought. And I was like, I think they're going to get Michelle Obama to run. And he's like, I don't I don't think that. Do you think that she's a trans? And I was like, I know she's a dude. And he goes, I just found that out today. Like, I, I, I guess you can Google a letter of Obama talking about how he fantasizes about having sex with a man every day. Literally a letter you can go look at. A letter to his ex-girlfriend from college or some shit. How he, uh... Can you see the hairs on my arm standing oh, up? Oh, I thought you were showing me gayness. And you are showing the bucket name. Um, <laughs> but yeah, right, guys, so, that's an episode. Godspeed. <laughs> you want to? <laughs> um, but yeah, so he, he just found out today. So there's a lot of people that don't know. Well, I found out yesterday. Okay. Still, there's a lot of people that don't know this shit. Hmm. There's people that think Obama is still a good guy, which is fucking bonkers to me. Yeah, there's people that don't realize that uh, they were they were ordering. Lots of cheese pizzas, you know, Bro. lots of cheese pizzas, which is more code talk and in hot a dogs in a, in a different sense. Sixty five thousand dollars for pizza and hot dogs to be flown in are from we, Chicago. Are we still using the same people as Obama for the cheese pizzas? That was, that was in one of Hillary's emails. Uh, it's are, we, uh, are we still using the same language or some shit? Yeah. No, the, the same people. Code words. The, no, she was asking if they still she was still use, or using the same company to get the cheese pizzas. Oh yeah, well that wasn't that in our uh, Q episode. I don't remember. Yeah, all I know is uh, cheese pizzas is 
child boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Weird that Obama's camp would need those. Yeah. And for a duration of time, not an amount of slices, but I need I need cheese pizzas for six hours. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And, those, and that's that's FBI pedophile code words. Right. That were declassified. So right. we ain't making this shit and, up. And those were part of Hillary's emails. Yeah. Which she tried to destroy. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Is the math math for you guys yet? Is the math for you? I hope. According to official documents obtained from the Illinois State Board of Elections, former First Lady Michelle Obama was registered to vote as a man from 1994 until 2008. The official documents also reveal Obama officially changed his sex to female in 2008. The same what? year her husband was running for the presidency. The official documents were obtained from the state of Illinois by liberal documentary maker Joel Gilbert, who explains that he decided to take a serious approach to learn about Michelle Obama's background because the mainstream media refuses to touch the topic. But Gilbert didn't expect to find proof that she registered to vote as a man for 14 years. <laughs> so there's like documented proof also. Are we crazy? I, uh, We're not crazy. We speak the truth on this show. I mean, I feel a little crazy sometimes, but this is wild. I love that there's so much proof of it, too. You know what I mean? You know? Oh, yeah. Plus the, the his personal chef. Are we getting into that? Am I jumping ahead? I don't have his personal chef, but please. Oh, you didn't hear about... Obama's personal chef washing up dead surfing off the coast in uh, like Oregon or Northern California. No. Yeah, that happened what? Like probably less than a year ago. His personal chef yeah of like a decade washed up dead from a surfing accident. Yeah. Barack and Michelle Obama say their hearts are broken after their personal chef died in a paddleboard accident near their estate on Martha's Vineyard. Disturbing details are coming out about the suspicious death of Barack Obama's personal chef, Tafari Campbell, and reports recently appeared that Tafari was writing a tell-all book before he drowned last month. Tafari drowned while paddleboarding near the Obama family's home on Martha's Vineyard, and while the police have labeled Tafari's death as an accident, reports emerged on social media that Tafari was writing a bombshell book before he died, leading many to wonder if someone wanted to silence him. Also, just weeks before Tafari died, Obama's old letters resurfaced, in which he admitted to fantasizing about sleeping with men, and a lot of people are now wondering if Tafari knew Obama's other secrets. So what really happened to Tafari Campbell? Why are so many people saying his death was not an accident? Let's break it down. We're seeing images of the Obama family chef who died on Martha's Vineyard. His body was found near a pond near the Obama home after a paddleboarding trip. Tafari Campbell, a 45-year-old father of two and former White House chef for Barack and Michelle Obama, had been identified as the man found dead on July 23rd in Edgartown Great Pond near the Obama's Martha's Vineyard property. Sources told the Daily Mail that it was a Secret Service agent who called 911 from the Obama estate in Edgartown to report the incident. According to the Mail, authorities initially didn't want to release any details of the incident, and they were withholding the names of everyone involved. The initial call came in at 7.46 p.m. when police and the fire department responded to the report that a man had fallen off his paddleboard and went underwater. However, according to the Mail, Martha's Vineyard Police left the reason for the emergency call blank in official logs from the day of the incident. Divers reportedly continued searching for Tafari into the night, and they finally located his body around 10 a.m. the next morning by using a sonar. Hmm. Uh, How many people around the Obama's Clintons fucking wash up dead or just miraculously die of natural causes? A heart attack with a gunshot wound. Bro, wait till the next episode. You want to know what we're doing next week? Killery? The Clinton body count. Killary Clinton. Yeah. Yeah. Long overdue. Yeah. I fucking hate yeah. these people, dude. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Let's 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 keep going. They also get by with bringing in the Michael into the White House and claiming that Michael is a female. And I thought this was interesting because this person called Michelle Obama was completely flustered when this transgender kid suggested Michelle was a transgender. <laughs> well, what's on your mind? What do you want to know? What do you want to talk about? Yes, I actually do want to talk to you about, I wanted to ask you one question about your book, which by the way, I have read and I love it. Divine. And yes, so I wanted to ask you, um, what advice do you have for teens who want to be themselves and thrive like you have and currently are? Like you have and currently are. <laughs> 
And look at that face on old Michael LaVon Robinson. Look at those lips puckered up. Take the hair and the makeup off if there's any makeup on there. Then broad shoulders sticking out more and you go, uh-huh. Because this kid just probably accidentally just told the whole world, how do you, what good advice do you have for me as a transgender kid since you're transgender? You ready? Something Here's the Dennis answer. Miller. Well, yeah, like you have and currently, currently are. Oh, like you have and currently are. Don't forget that. And then the kid's like, oh, 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 I made a mistake. I shouldn't have said that. You know, uh, I mean, uh, you, you know, I am just so proud of you, you know, being just an amazing role model and embracing your truth. Right. Um, you're 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 already doing this. So maybe this is for some other young people that are listening. Oh, it's for other people that are listening. You're doing this. You're doing it. not me. <laughs> Too late. Can I just say, also before you before I ask you about the, that video, her book is called Becoming. Becoming a fucking guy, or becoming yeah. a woman. Is it becoming a woman? Her book is called Becoming. Becoming what? What do you think about the transgender kid? Pretty much outing her on accident. Eh, I, I could, I could loose. You know. Yeah. Loose. Yeah, it's not it's not firm evidence like uh, the previous guy had. Yeah, for sure. I was closing my eyes trying to listen to her talk to see if I could hear a little man in there, you know, because I can usually you can usually hear a little yeah a little something Sound deeper like than a gay, it, gay man deeper than it should be, but I was trying. Here's a here's a little bit of her uh, physical. Yes. There's a lot of scientific material available on how facial analysis and face recognition are related. Um, for instance, uh, the gender shade study showed that some of the famous female, cel female black celebrities uh, were mistaken as male, right? Like Michelle Obama. Her real name is Michael. She's a trans. Oh, yeah. I would have thought you noticed yeah. the in her pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your flinger dick while she was running down the stairs. <laughs> she's a guy. She's a he. He. he she's a he. She's a he. She's a he. Good for right, him. We'll keep going. Yeah, good, good for him. Good for these murdering psychopaths that lying to the American people for fucking at least. Here's the thing, though, man. I don't. I don't shit on anybody for their years. Their sexual deviancies. I don't really care too much about it, but um, they're killing people. Right. When they're killing people to cover it up, that's when I have a problem. And they're also how many children have they killed? by promoting transgender shit when the highest suicide rates are for people who have already transitioned and then wanted to go back and couldn't go back. That's the highest suicide rates. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Um, if so, Do that's pretty, that's kind of shitty. Yeah. So um, anybody that gets I, pissed I, off about me not liking transgenderism, that's why you're killing children. You're cast you're medic you're chemically castrating children that don't know any better. Well, I mean, it's one thing for an adult to make the choice and say, This is who I am, right? But it's another thing for them to allow and promote li I mean, kids. Like yeah. they they I, I saw a thing the other day, oh, can I have a can I smoke a cigarette? No, you're not eighteen. You're not ready to make that decision. Can I have a drink of alcohol? Nope, you're not 21. You're not ready to make that decision. I, f I feel like I'm in the wrong sex. Oh, you're 12. I think you're ready to make that decision. Yeah, like, go chop your dick off. Doesn't make any fucking sense to me. So, yeah, um, like, I like I get humans are very uh, complicated. In the human no, they mind. want attention. That, well, the hum there's the, part of it's that, but the human mind is very complicated. Um and I, you know, I, I know people who are trans and like, they genuinely feel like they were born incorrect. So like, I get it, 
but for a child, uh, I'm not okay with that, man. You got to let that person grow up and figure out who they are. You know? Yeah. Anyways. Here's Obama talking about his lovely wife. Husband. Of the finest military in the world. You're damn right. Michael and I... <laughs> Michael and like, I... What do you say? Does anything scare him? You know, uh, well, when my, my, my when uh, Michelle's mad. When... <laughs> Here's him supposedly talking about another couple, not him and not him and his husband. This is a gay couple. Okay. I walk with my husband Michael and hold hands. It's like a whole new world for me. Just walking and holding hands. Something that one of our fellow Americans for years could not do. Do you think he was talking about him and his husband or another not a, couple? Not a chance. Another couple. Okay, another couple. Another couple yeah, wrote yeah. into him. And... Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he said it on accident? Mm-mm. Intentional. Oh. I think I think he was reading from a letter. <laughs> One of his letters <laughs> that, that he sent into his office. <laughs> yeah. Holy um, shit! What? This. I never yeah. saw half of this and I already knew. Oh yeah. Well, there's proof. There's proof out there. Um. Now we're getting into some serious shit. Oh boy. Um, is that never mind. This young lady is named Allie Carter and she was a sex trafficking rape victim. Worried about the elite and we could give those names of Barack Obama, Joe Biden. We know about Michelle Obama, that's a man. We know about um Too Short. We know about Akon and Steven Tyler, and we can give those names all day. And everybody is so worried about that. But what you should be worried about is the people that are in between, the people that go as low as your grave diggers. I was trafficked to people within my schools. Uh, I was trafficked in underground tunnels that link under your schools, uh, through your cemeteries, under uh, your, your amusement parks, through Universal Studios, and into Hollywood elite homes um, all over the place, all over the world. So the names that you just mentioned, Barack Obama, Steven Tyler, Joe Biden, Michelle Obama, have you had personal sexual experiences with these people? Yes. These people participated in sex abuse firsthand with you? Yes. Can you tell that story? Because that's important for people to understand and, and to know. And to this point, I don't think a national platform has given you the opportunity to say those things. No, because everybody is complicit. It, it, everybody is complicit. It is covered up by your local FBI. It is covered up by your local police department. It is underground tunnels. There's a whole world. Um, it's a different way of life. There's every source of transportation. <laughs> when I met Joe Biden, um, I was rushed through many celebrities. Um, half of them I did not know. Um, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't phase me to see them. It didn't, um, some of them were actually very conceited and cocky that I didn't know who they were. Um, underground, under the Getty Museum in Los Angeles, there are many tunnels. Um, Again, there's a, there's a way, there's a way of transportation. There's every single way of transportation under the ground. Um, I was sold to Joe Biden. So firsthand, these people were in a room with you and had, they raped you. I, I mean, there's no other, I want to be absolutely 100% candid. Barack Obama, yes. Joe Biden, these people raped you. And you say that you have these mountains of evidence that nobody wants to look at. What evidence do you have? 
we have police reports, we have rape kits, we have information, we have videos, we have so much. This is all about power and control. Uh, MK Ultra is a mind control programming. Um, it happens to Hollywood elites. It is happening right now to Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, um, many celebrities just like them. Uh, but nobody understands and nobody knows because it's a, it's, it's a part of control. It's like someone has the remote to someone's life. That's a real victim right there. Flat out saying she was abused by these people. So why hasn't, like, if somebody, you would think if somebody was going to go on news and say that, that would become massive. Even if it was That's fake, right? Even if it was all lies. Because that would make national, that would make, you would think that would make national news. And then there would be some sort of slander lawsuit or. So um, that's the Stu Peters show. That's a, uh, he, he talks about real shit, like stuff we talk about. And he's shadow banned. And the only, I mean, he's like the new real Alex Jones. So if that makes any sense. Yeah. But you would, you would even, even all of that, you would think that that would yeah. make. That would make some waves. Who do you think owns the fucking news channels, bro? I, I get it, but the internet is real. Like, you can find anything you want on the internet. Yeah, but they also Google. Dude, try to find half the shit I find off Google and shit. Yeah, no, I know. And most people aren't Googling this shit. You know what I mean? Most yeah. people want to stay wrapped up in their little matrix bubble and not learn the truth. And get mad at their friends when they try to tell them the truth. Yeah. So... Wild, yeah, dude, it's fucking that's crazy. That's wild. Yeah, it's it's one thing to uh, lie to everybody that you're you're gay and your first lady is a first man, um, but you're killing people, you're assaulting your underage them. kids. Yeah. But what else are they doing to push their transgender shit? You tell. Sounds like you got some up your sleeve, buddy. You won't you tell there me? There you go. There you go. May the 6th of 2016, President Obama sent a letter to every school district in the United States. And President Obama said, every child has a right to use the bathroom of the gender that they identify with. And President Obama threatened the State Departments of Education. If you don't let transgender children use the bathroom of the gender they identify with, we will cut your funding. We will cut your money. We will cut your grants. And so Barack Obama, more than any other politician in the world, fed the transgender... I would like to see one of these letters. Oh. Just I didn't saying. even go look for it. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it, though. He put in a law for the bathrooms. I remember. I remember because uh, I made a meme that this is when I thought aliens were real. And I put um, an alien logo on the bath on a bathroom door. And it said, next time this motherfucker is going to allow aliens to use the bathrooms. And that's what he'll be focused on instead of real shit. Why'd you put your glasses back on? Uh, my hater blockers tell me aliens ain't real. All right, I got one last video for you. Sprinkle it on me. You ready? Yeah. Welcome to Democracy Now. Um, can you tell us what happened to you? How you were originally tied to Syngenta, the research you did, and what prevented you from originally publishing it? Well, <clears throat> here at Berkeley, I was a, a new assistant professor. I was already studying the effects of hormones and the effects of chemicals that interfere with hormones on amphibian development. And I was approached by the manufacturer and asked to study the effects of atrazine, uh, the herbicide, on frogs. And after I discovered that it interfered with male development and caused uh, males to turn into females to develop eggs, the company tried to prevent me from publishing and from discussing that work with other scientists outside of their panel. What was the I packed her bag for school lunch every morning, and I gave her a big freezer Ziploc bag. I told her to go through the line, get her food, bring it back to the table, dump it all in the Ziploc bag, make sure it's sealed real good, and put it in your backpack. Eat your lunch I made you. 
And um, she did that. I have her, had her do it for five days. I sent all that information. Now, I'm a retired paramedic from Miami, so I've got friends uh, that I play golf and tennis with in Miami that own um, um, spinners, you know, where they spin blood and stuff. And I contacted my guy and sent it to him. And the result was um, atrazine. So on this clip you're looking at, the guy I stitched with is talking about that. If you think about it, that's really when all of this started. They were putting atrazine in the Michelle Obama, a.k.a. Michael LeVon Robinson's food program all over the country. That's what happened. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to it, and I got receipts. I've been saying this shit since 2009, and not one Soro Toro or Obama has sued me. Mm. There you go, kids. Preach, brother. So they're fucking poisoning kids and putting gen, gen hormone fucking disruptors right. in the fucking. Remember that big fucking campaign that. Michael Obama was doing talking about yeah. fucking kids lunches and shit. We need them healthier. No, they're mm -hmm. fucking poisoning the kids. That's why kids are becoming way more fucking feminine and shit because they're eating school lunches. That's wild. Then the facts. That's wild, bro. If you're in support of the Obamas, you're a fucking weirdo. Yeah. That's all I got for you. Yeah. Weirdos. Fucking weirdos. Fucking weirdos. You probably think my glasses are cool, too. Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, no final thoughts? What's your final thought, man? Your My final thoughts? I just said my final thoughts. What are your final thoughts? Okay, I'll take it from here. Jesus Christ. Uh, final thoughts. <laughs> You're crazy if you think we're crazy on this episode. I'm, I'm sorry. You fucking are. Yeah. Uh. Throwing a clip or two of the the news report or whatever from the uh, from the uh, the, the, the chef. chef. Yeah, yeah I'm I'll sure put that can, in when we were yeah. talking earlier about it. I'm sure you can find something. Uh, final thoughts. Hmm. Yeah, uh, like I said before, you wanna you wanna as an adult, if you wanna identify as something else, you're more than welcome to. I identify as a fat fuck all the time. I wasn't born this way. I just that's how I identify. Uh. But you start fucking with the kids, and they're they're not even starting. They're fucking, yeah. They're they're fucking kids. I mean, they're fucking with the kids or both. They're, they're doing both. Yeah, they're fucking. They're fucking and fucking with the kids. Yeah. That's what, that's when Americans should have a fucking problem. For real. That being said, those are my final thoughts. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, dude. Well, Godspeed. Hey, man. Happy Fourth. Yeah, USA, happy, uh, happy USA, 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 USA. Godspeed. Later. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Michelle Obama's mother dies leaving inheritance to my son, Michael. Okay. It's Michelle Obama. Mother, Mary McGilly Cuddy Robinson, has died at the age of 84. She went peacefully in her sleep uh, before being made mostly devoured by her, whatever disease she had. Chicago police ruled out any foul play. The real story, however, is how she worded her last will and testament, according to Illinois' comptroller and keeper of the public records, Arch Michelle doesn't legally exist. My thing is, Ms. Robinson will clearly state that her possession should all go to my son, Michael Robinson Obama, in Illinois. A person can legally change their gender, so she had to use his real name on, or she wouldn't have gotten anything. <laughs>